Hi, I'm Ross Mike from RossTraining.com. What I'm going to do in this brief video is give you a tutorial on how to create a suspension trainer from an inexpensive pair of cam buckle tie downs. Now, if you're familiar with my website, you've probably seen a few tutorials posted in the past that used lashing straps to create the suspension trainer. I've had a lot of people email me though from different parts of the world who've uh, been unable to find lashing straps. Uh, some couldn't find lashing straps that were strong enough and others just didn't want to tie the knots that had been demonstrated in some of the previous tutorials. They didn't feel comfortable tying a knot and then suspending themselves from the unit. So what I wanted to do was show you a way to create one of these suspension trainers without the need for building anything. It, it comes assembled essentially. What I have here, these are two 10 foot cam buckle tie downs. Uh, I bought these at Home Depot for $10. You get two per package. The <clears throat> working load limit is 400 pounds with a brake strength of 1200 pounds. So that's for each uh, strap. So they are fairly strong. Stronger than you'll typically find with most lashing straps. Now what you get here each tie down, there's two pieces to the tie down. This short piece here, you can see a cam buckle and this, and this, is this short piece with the handle on the end. And then there's a longer piece that you just run through your cam buckle, which you can see here. If I kept pulling, I could pull it right out. So you have a hook on each end. So what I do is you just take your hook and just secure it overhead to a pull-up bar here. You can hang them overhead to something like a swing hanger, which is used to actually hang a swing set. Okay, I have one overhead, which you can't see on the camera. But they secure overhead, okay? Now, when I put them overhead, I put the cam buckle side up towards the top, okay? So when I have a handle on the bottom here, the cam buckle is not going to scrape my arm. Now for handles, what I use are these triangular plastic playground ring handles. I've added tape here just to thicken up the handle. I've had these for eight or nine years. They're probably cost me around five dollars. I don't recall exactly. They're pretty easy to find. If you weren't able to find something like this, you could probably make your own handle from something such as PVC uh, for a few dollars. Uh, so what I would do though is just, as you can see, it just hooks right on. Okay, again, there's no assembly required. Now, many of the suspension trainers that you see on the market also have foot straps, okay, where you can hook the unit to your leg. For example, I could hook this here and perform a lunge with one leg elevated in the air. So if you wanted to have those straps, all that you'll need is, uh, these are Husky Hangalls, purchased at Home Depot for around $5. This is just a Velcro strap so you can adjust the size of your loop. There's a spring clip that's included, so all that you would do was, it, uh, would be to hook your clip to the bottom of the unit and you can see here you can adjust the length hook this around your foot and you'd be ready to go now back to uh, hooking this overhead if, if you didn't have a pull-up bar you didn't have something where this hook fit there's a pretty simple workaround what I have here this is just a small strip of chain where I've added a spring clip so suppose I couldn't this wouldn't fit here all that you would need to do is Take your spring clip, attach it to the closed loop here, and then I would just hang it around and hook the spring clip overhead, and you've got it secure, uh, your strap secured overhead. So it's pretty easy to find a way to get these um, secured overhead. They're inexpensive. You can pack these in a gym bag and bring them almost anywhere. Um, in terms of the primary benefits, I'd say that the most useful exercises are probably upper body and core based. There's certainly movements you can perform for the lower body, but if you're already strong there, I wouldn't be expected uh, expect to be challenged too much, okay, from a maximal strength standpoint. Um, again, you could hook it to your leg and perform lunges. You could hold the straps if you needed assistance with balance for an exercise like a one leg squat. There's a couple exercises you can do for the back side. Uh, a few of which I'll demonstrate in a few minutes. So, uh, again, a definite useful piece of equipment, um, something that can be used by beginners or more advanced athletes. There's always a way to make the exercise more difficult. 
You can change the angle, okay? You can add a weighted vest. You will work with one arm at a time. Um, so it's not going to be something that you outgrow. So what I'll do now is just demonstrate a few exercises. Certainly not a definitive list, but uh, enough to get you going and uh, keep you challenged.